The films and series we love, the music we sing along to, and the stage shows we line up for. They are all brought to life by the musicians, singers, actors and dancers gathered under the term performers. Without them, creative and cultural industries would simply not exist. Their contribution is protected by law through intellectual property rights. These rights ensure that performers receive remuneration for the use of their performances. They consist of exclusive rights and remuneration rights. An exclusive right grants performers the power to authorize or prohibit the use of their work. It is a very powerful tool for performers. In theory, that is. Because in practice, exclusive rights are always transferred to the producer of a recording. In return, performers receive a one-off derisory payment. For most, there is no room for negotiation. If performers want to work, they have to sign the contract. Apart from exclusive rights, performers also have remuneration rights. These guarantee that performers are paid from parties using their recordings. And as opposed to exclusive rights, these are non-transferable, meaning remuneration rights stay in the hands of the performers and may not be signed away in contracts. This is why most performers only benefit from their intellectual property rights through these remuneration rights. It would be impossible for an individual performer to keep track of exploitation of their recordings and collect their remuneration from all the users. That's why this is done by performers' collective management organizations, or CMOs. Most CMOs operate on a non-profit basis and under control of their members, being the performers. Administering remuneration rights for performers is a complex task. CMOs are a one-stop shop for users, such as radio stations, TV broadcasters and shops, to make their payments. CMOs collect from the numerous users and distribute remuneration after deduction of costs. In some recordings, dozens of performers are involved, all entitled to fair revenues for their contribution. Remuneration rights and their collective management are therefore vital to protecting performers, as they guarantee fair remuneration when their performances are exploited. Performers' rights would simply not be maintained if collective management organizations did not exist.